Donuts chart in Excel are usually like this, very ugly. However, the good news is that you can do a lot of things to transform them and to make them into something like this, where, for example, if I change the percentage, it adjusts and you can see those edges are rounded. So how to do this? This is the topic of this lesson. It's a small thing that you need to do. It might look complex, it might look mathematical, but if you just follow the few steps I'm going to show you, you will see that it is very easy. So we start with the data here. We have the percentage completion, and then we have the remainder, which is one minus this. So first of all, I'm going to add a chart, a donuts chart. So I go here and I add my chart. I'm going to remove the legend. So I click on it and then I click delete. I'm going to close this now. And for chart title, I can say sexy donut. And then I have this. Next, I'm going to remove those edges. As you can see, this white. Basically, I select one series. I go to format. I have shape outline. I will do no outline and I will select this one. I will do the same thing. And as you can see, this is gone. Then I'm going to change the colors. So you choose the colors that you like. Here I select this. I click. I make it gray. Then I can select this. I click here and I make it in blue. So if you see, I have now the structure. Now, next we need this percentage completion. To get the percentage completion, this is the tip. You just select the chart, you'll do insert, illustrations, shape, and then this. Then you put it inside your chart. Why did I do this? Because if I just do here equal this 45, now, if I move my chart, this moves with it. If you didn't click on the chart, it's going to come outside and it's going to make problems. So now we're going to make this a bit bigger. Let's do it this way. And then let's change the font. You can choose the font that you like. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to put it in the middle. I can make it even bigger if I want. Then I select the font that I like. I actually like this font. And then I have it. Now here is the tough part. If you see here, how did I make those edges? Basically, it is as if I did this. So if I go and I select this, it is as if I added a bubble here and then I added a bubble here. And if the bubbles are from the same color, then obviously the edges will be rounded. So how do we get those bubbles? Basically, it's like a scattered plot. I'm going to put a dot here and a dot here that moves based on what I type here. And then I'm going to make it bigger. So then you're going to see rounded edges. So to do this, we're just going to copy this. And then I'm going to explain to you how it works. So we'll copy it. We'll put it here, for example. And then let's remove all this. And let me explain to you. There are two dots. The first one is this one. This one, if you see, I'm going to fix it. Imagine that you have an X axis like this and a Y axis like this. So imagine that if I want to fix my X axis, it's in the middle. So I'm going to fix it at zero. And then here, if I see my Y axis that goes like this, I want to fix it at the top, which is kind of a one. So I'm going to put a zero for my X and a one for my Y. The problem comes that I need to, based on this, I need to find the value here. It involves a little bit of math. I'm not going to go into the mathematical concept because in this channel, what we care about is the result. So to do this, you'll do here for X, you'll do minus sine, which is sinus. It's a formula in Excel, a mathematical formula. You open parentheses, you select your 45% you do times 2 times pi. Pi is 3.14, as you all know. Then we do this. We do enter. We get a value. Here we're going to do cosine. So again, a mathematical formula. The same numbers. 45 times 2 times pi. Then we say enter. Next, we need to add those points. So how do we do this? 
basically I need to add a scatter plot so I'm gonna do right click here select data add a series my series name is scattered plot and then the values since I don't have the X and Y here because it thinks that it's a donut I'm just gonna select the Y and then I'm gonna add the X's so to add the X's first we're gonna tell Excel that this is not a donut so I'm gonna select any series here right click change series chart type then I go here I'm gonna put my series 1 as a secondary axis and then my scattered plot I'm gonna select a scattered plot and then I say okay as you can see those are my two dots now why are they not in line because I wanted this to be here and this to be here the problems are the axis so I need to adjust the axis for this to work so let's try first we have the x-axis it has to be symmetrical so I cannot have from 0 to 2.5 so I'm gonna click on it right click format axis and here I have the boundaries so I'm gonna choose minus 1.15 enter and then here 1.15 to make it symmetrical you have to choose those values so it works for your charts I'm gonna continue showing you how it will be and then you can play with those boundaries a little bit to make it look nicer so now I have this okay next I need this to work so I'm gonna select the same axis because again I want everything symmetrical 1.15 and here again 1.15 so the first one was with a minus and then we get this now again my points are not in the right place why because I didn't add the x value if I do select data if you remember my scattered plot I do edit I only had the y value because first it was a donut right so I'm gonna select my x values and then you're gonna see that like magic these dots will come in the right place which is amazing so next I need to get rid of my grid lines and my axis I click on the first axis I press delete on the keyboard I click on the second axis I press delete click on those grid lines I remove them and I'm left with this then I'm gonna click on those those are what my markers right so I go here I go marker and then here I have marker option built in I have the round one so I keep it and then I start increasing as you can see I am increasing it so it looks nice so for example in this case I increased it to we go back to our marker and then we increased it to 18 you also have to adjust it it's a little bit of you know playing with it then you need to change the colors so we have a fill automatic we change the color to the same color that we had here the only thing that I have is the border so border I'm gonna do no line and then you can see that it is like aligning again I can play a little bit with my chart also because if I see that this is not working very well I can for example reduce the size of my chart a little bit to make it work better so it's up to you if you see here I played with it a little bit I made it bigger and I got the right edges so basically to make it work you need one is you play with the size of your chart two you can play with your axis the values that you have on your axis and three if you go to markers marker options you can play with the size of the marker option so for example I can make it 17 and then I have it this way so it's up to you and then if I see what I have now if I do 32 percent as you can see everything will adjust automatically why because those values are based on this 32 percent so this will never change but this point is moving based on the values that I have and this is how you make your donut chart sexy so please let me know in the comment section if it worked out for you and if you managed to do the adjustments